This Android home screen won me over because it's the fastest at launching apps. Hello fellow data overhaulers. Thank you for joining me as we break down everyday tech and help you get control of your online data. This video is part of a multi-part series of reviews where we're taking a look at alternative Android launchers or home screens for digital minimalists and those who want to take back some of their privacy. Taken right from their website, KISS Launcher lets Android users simplify their home, clean their screens, and access functions they need as quickly and as simply as possible. And it's true. I'm able to launch my most frequently used apps, tasks, and contacts with only one to two taps from the home screen. Let's take a look at KISS and I'll show you how to use and configure it for fast app launching. When you first launch KISS Launcher, you're presented with a request to access your contacts. And normally I would deny that, but I'd like to show you how the power of this launcher works. So I'm going to click on allow. And this launcher is set up in such a way that you have just one single panel. And that normally will carry your search results as well as your history. The search results come from launching apps and having access to contacts. So if I focus in on the search bar and I start typing my loyalty card app, I can then launch my loyalty card app from that point. I can also maybe search for a contact. So let's go with Paula and I could easily make a phone call or text message to Paula. This search area will help you search for apps, contacts, and even subtasks. So in the case I want to turn on airplane mode, I can start typing airplane and easily get to airplane mode from this point. So as I begin to launch apps, so you'll see that I'll receive um, history that will show up. So I'll launch the loyalty card app. I'll launch my podcast player. And maybe I'll launch a calculator. And these items begin to, to become part of your history. You can make this launcher really fast by tuning this, the history portion of this. And let me go into that. So if you click on the overflow menu and choose settings, you go to the history setting. And I choose the history mode adapt to, to user usage. And that includes how often I use it, uh, when I use it, and in the order in which it was used. You should definitely play around with some of these options and choose the one that best fits you as you begin to play with it. Let's go back to the home screen. And by itself, if, you, if the history works well for you, you'll begin to be able to use the history alone to launch apps very quickly within one tap. I prefer to change it up a little bit and make another adjustment. So let's go back into KISS settings. Let's choose user experience and display keyboard on, on start. If I tick this on and go back to the home screen, I'm immediately focused in on the search bar and I can begin to type. So things that I may not type all that often, for example, <clears throat> my audio recorder, audio recorder, <clears throat> audio is just two taps away and I'm able to launch that. Another great option here is to use the favorites and they're ticked on by default, and, but you can adjust them further. These favorites, are listed here in this below the below the history but above the search and as you use those particular items they do not show up in the history list above the last item that i would really like to point out is the search results so if i'm searching for coffee if i don't have an app or a contact that has the word coffee in it um, i'm presented with a default option to go search using a search engine in this case, I choose not really to use Google that much anymore, so I can adjust that setting. And here's how you get to that. Go to your KISS settings, search settings, and come down to the select web search providers. I'm gonna tick the Google option off, but I'll turn on DuckDuckGo, which is more privacy respecting. I might also choose to keep YouTube and hit okay. When I go back to my home screen and choose coffee, 
I'm, I can then launch directly into DuckDuckGo using the default browser or maybe to YouTube and go ahead and look at YouTube's dealing with coffee. There are a few other options around theming in your settings that you can explore under user interface. There's a lot of really neat options and take a look at them, see which one works best for you. Overall, KISS ticks three important points for me. One, it's productivity. I want to be able to get to a contact or get to an app and launch that as quickly as possible. Number two is privacy. This is open source. All the data stays on the device. It is not, it does, the app doesn't even have internet access to push those outward. And three, I really appreciate a, a minimalist aesthetic. And so there's a lot of nice open space here and it, does, it, it doesn't get confusing or bogged down. KISS is my hands-down pick for an alternative Android launcher. Do you think it's a bit heavy on customizations to be considered a minimalist launcher? Or is it worth it for the speed in getting where you want to go? Tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.